Do not fear change and rapid technological advances. Be open to change and use it to your advantage. Adapt and thrive. So says David Vine, the person who reinvented himself several times with the help of advancing technology. This is a story about personal growth, professional pursuits and getting enjoyment out of life. Born in 1951 at the beginning of the baby boom generation, David Vine had a difficult time in school and was ridiculed for being overweight. A very difficult family life left him on his own. He was able to do things that many parents would find frightening today. Taking a bus to the city at age 12 or traveling alone by train from his home in West Haven, Connecticut to New York City at age 13 are activities that parents wouldn't allow today. A childhood interest in radio and electronics led to a novice amateur radio license with the help of a family friend. At age 13 he traveled by train to New York City and passed the radio theory and Morse code tests for a general class amateur radio license. He began hanging around amp broadcast radio stations and during the summer about three years later he had a minor job at a local radio station. WFIF David considers radio to be the first waves of technology starting a career that would be propelled by major technological advancements. Without much guidance from his parents or family David developed and then took advantage of his photography skills. He began offering his photos to the local newspapers and slowly gained recognition. He was eventually hired as a summer intern reporter on the strength of having sat in on a few writing classes at Columbia University while he attended one semester at the School of Visual Art in New York City studying photojournalism. He ran out of money for school and returned home to Connecticut to do more newspaper work. He stayed on at the New Haven Register when other interns returned to school. He made a solo journey to Europe in 1971, hitchhiking through several countries during his two-month trip. In 1973 at the age of 22 he worked full-time as a new photographer at the Danbury City News Times. While the register was still using Lina type a hot lead type setting technology the News Times had converted to the newer photo offset printing process. This enabled the newspaper to print an entire picture story on one page at lower cost than writing, retyping into the typesetting system and laying out strips of type. David learned much more about photography and refined his photojournalism and writing skills during his three years at the News Times. He feels that the shift from hot type to cold type along with the development of photojournalism skills marked the second wave of technological change to impact his career trajectory. The third wave began with an intense interest in aviation. He learned how to fly and got a pilot's license in 1975. Leaving the news, times a few months later, David began freelance writing and photography for the aviation trade press. He wrote articles, covered air shows and undertook photo assignments for a variety of publications in that field. In 1977 he moved to Atlanta leaving the colder climate and more industrial setting for the fast-growing southern city. It was here that David's freelance photography led him into two new areas simultaneously, private investigation and public relations an unlikely combination that would soon pay off in a prestigious position even further south. He found himself at a crossroads while in Atlanta. Befriended by a well-connected public figure Arthur Kaplan attorney, municipal court judge and part-time freelance medic David pondered an offer of recommendation of him as a candidate for the Atlanta Police Department. While private investigation was fascinating and his writing and photography interesting, his love of aviation won out when he applied for a position with the Dade County Aviation Department in Miami. DCAD operated five South Florida airports including Miami International. There were about 100 candidates for the position and one of the reasons he was selected was his private pilot license and aviation journalism experience. Funded by his work as a media relations contact public relations officer and marketing professional for the department he avidly undertook flying lessons. During his three years there he achieved commercial, flight instructor and multi-engine ratings. Later he followed the advice of a headhunter, 
If you are not moving up after three years, then move out. David briefly worked for an aviation services company as manager of marketing communications and then decided to establish his own aviation-centered PR and marketing business. He got his first computer, the TRS-80 Model 3, in 1984. This fourth wave of technological change had the most far-reaching impact on his career. Computers and later internet drove his involvement in technology for the next three decades.